independent function. Suppose we have an n function that is f1, f2 up to fn. So these functions are called linear independent. If we solve these functions according to this equation, this equation means c1 that is a constant into first function plus c2 into the second function plus c3 into the third function plus so on till fn nth function multiplied with nth constant. If we substitute this format is equal to 0 and this implies that all the constants are 0. Till cn all the constants are 0. In that case we will call it as these functions are linearly independent. Or if not all are 0 or we can say that at least one of them is non-zero. In that case, we will call functions as linearly dependent. So, let's understand this definition with the help of example. Now, the question is show that these three functions are linearly dependent on any of the intervals. So what we will do, so first we will write the equation format that is the first constant into the first function that is x square plus second constant into the second function that is x cube plus third constant into the third function that is 6x square minus x cube. This is, is equal to 0. Now from here we will find the values of c1, c2 and c3. So how to find that one? So first we will club the coefficients of x square and then coefficients of x cube. So what are the coefficients of x square? So it is a c1 plus 6 times of c3 plus. So what are the coefficients of x cube? That is a c2 plus it's a minus c3 put it is equal to 0 so from here we can conclude that this polynomial is equal to 0 whenever c1 plus 6c3 is equal to 0 that is a coefficient of x square is 0 as well as coefficient of c3 is 0. So from first we are getting a c1 is equal to minus 6 c3. From the second equation we are getting a c2 is equal to c3. Now can you find any value of c3 for which c1 c2 is not is equal to 0? So answer is yes. So if I substitute c3 is equal to 1, the value of c1 is minus 6. The value of C2 is equal to 1. So all these values are not is equal to 0. So clearly these functions are linearly dependent. If all these constants are 0, we have no other option except 0. In that case, they are linear independent. And in case you can find any non-zero value, in that case the functions are linearly dependent. Even you can observe from these three functions. If I take this as a first function, this is as a f2 function, this is a f3 function. So multiply 6 times of first function. Subtract f2. So you will get the f3 function. So the third function can be written in form of first and second. It means it is depending upon the function f1 and f2. So therefore we can call that this set is a linearly dependent function set. So let's take the next example. So in this example we need to show that these functions are linearly independent. Now you can observe. With the help of first two functions, by adding these two functions or subtracting these two functions, can you get the third function? So answer is no because this is a single power and this is a x square 
by adding these two number or subtracting these two number you will never get a x cube we cannot multiply these two functions because as per the definition of linear independent and dependent we can either subtract or add these two function in order to get the third one so clearly they are linearly independent but now we need to show this one so go by the definition so definition says that there are three functions so we will use a three constant so c1 into the first function that is x plus c2 into second function x square plus c3 into the third function x cube put it is equal to 0 so now compare the coefficient so what are the coefficient of x on both sides so on the left hand side we have a coefficient of x as c1 on the right hand side it is a 0 so from here we are getting a fixed value of c1 as 0 now what is the coefficient of x square so in this case that is 2 on right hand side it is 0 so again we are getting the value of c2 as 0 so coefficient of x cube that is the c3 on our left hand side on our right hand side we have a 0 so we are getting the value c3 as 0 since all the constants are 0 it means these functions are linearly independent let's take another example so now in this case we need to check whether these functions are linear independent or dependent again we have a three functions so we will write the equation first constant into the first function plus second constant into the second function plus third constant into the third function is equal to zero now simplify this so you will get this equation. So this is a c1x square minus c1 plus 3 times of c2x square plus 2 times of c3 minus 5c3x square is equal to 0. Now compare the coefficient. So coefficient of x square. So what are the coefficient of x square? It is a c1 plus 3c2 minus 5c3 that is, is equal to 0. Now what are the constant terms in this case? So constant terms are minus c1 plus 2c3 that is, is equal to 0. So from second we are getting the value of c1 as 2c3. Now put it into the first equation. So when you put this c1 is equal to 2c3 what you will get it is a 2c3 plus 3c2 minus 5c3 is equal to 0 so from here we can say that minus 3c3 plus 3c2 is equal to 0 so this implies the value of c2 is equal to c3 so we are getting the value of c1 in terms of c3 as well as the value of c2 in terms of c3 now can you find any non-zero value of c1 c2 as well as a c3 so if you are getting a non-zero value then we will say they are linearly dependent so yes we can find that so if you take c3 let c3 is equal to 1 in that case the value of c1 is 2 and the value of c2 is equal to 1. So we are getting a non-zero value of the constant. So this implies functions are linearly dependent.